Hey you right guys, Trey from Winter's Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 11 of This Is Us Season 5. Last episode ended with Nikki showing up at Kevin's doorstep, which uh, I've missed my boy Nikki so I'm, I'm very happy about that. And yeah, it was another really solid episode of This Is Us, I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> it's just consistently great, isn't it? So, and Randall was incredible last episode, which was nice to see. Not that it hasn't been before, but it was nice to just get Randall being dad randall for an episode but yeah episode 11 if you enjoy make sure to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe and of course if you want the early and uncut reactions to this is us and patreon will be linked down below where they would have finished the show by the time this one's on youtube but for now let's do this uncle nicky what are you what are you doing here well i came to see my namesake <laughs> and and the girl and the girl yeah oh yeah. uh yeah of course yes come in come on in yeah yeah come in patient of the kids baptism so you know i've Booked a flight. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I guess you didn't see the Zoom link then. I'm on the back of the. <laughs> what now? Oh, no, nothing. Uh, don't worry about it, Nikki. You had twins. I must have done a real number on you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Face Palmer. Uncle Nikki, I cannot believe that you flew across the country to meet our kids. It's, it's incredible. Of course he did. Nikki ain't gonna let no one down. I mean, prime Nikki here, maybe in the past a little bit, but. <laughs> oh, he got him on his fridge. <laughs> Explain to me now in detail how to use uh, Amazon.com. <laughs> uh, Speak really slowly. Yeah, that's strange anomaly. Yo, my boy, with the Amazon Prime delivery. Guys, uh, sculpt in some figures. I don't really know what that is, but oh, yeah, Nikki. <laughs> okay, so I'm good, I'm safe, not for a while. And you have to come back in three weeks for a second dose. There's a second one. What? what? I'm going to California. My nephew named this kid after me. That's nice. You can tell him he's dead happy about <laughs> that. I even used pieces from my old World War II bomber model planes to build it. Okay, let me see. He's gonna break it. I like the ladder. Thanks. It's nice. Okay. <laughs> he's gonna dash it. Hi, Mom. You look great. So I haven't heard that in years. Thank you. My oh, boy Nikki likes space stuff. I mean, you gotta leave the nest at some point. Yeah, well, I may be forcibly removed from the nest if I get drafted to Vietnam this year. You're not getting drafted. <laughs> You're not getting yeah, drafted. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. There's got to be a nice girl who works the vet clinic with you, right? <laughs> oh, there is. Ah. Uh, Sally. Sally. Sally, young guy. It took me weeks to build this gift, and I suck at wrapping. <laughs> Babies are going to know the difference, but, you know, still. You built her a present. We'll build them over them. Yep. <laughs> I am proud of you. I'm proud of them as well. If we have a Nikki dying episode, I'm going to shoot myself. I, I won't be able to handle that. We've had Jack, that's broke me. We've had Randall's dad, that broke me. We have Nikki, and we know we're going to get Rebecca. It's so sad knowing he doesn't really get a handle on his shit for like, what would it be, 20 years, 30 years? Longer than that. No, 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 about 30 years because Jack had the kids when he went visiting the first time, so. Bath time for pumpkin. No. This is Sally. Do you need some help? Sally, I. No. <laughs> I mean, I think she might like you, Nikki. So. Water's so healing, no? Listen to Jack. Yeah, hoping that it doesn't. Um... Disintegrator bounce back into Who's, space. No, go away. Whoa, Who is that? So oh, it's Jack. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was like going to be someone who's going to get in the way of him hyping himself up. Tonight to go look at the moon. Nikki. Do you ever do that kind of a thing? Nikki. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I. you should have a great night, but I, I. my brother's probably waiting for me, so. Oh, my God. Okay. Bye. Bye. No, Nikki. Jack, you have a very proud, determined energy. Cancer? Uh, no, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, <laughs> no, I'm fine. There's no better person to do that with than my brother Nick. I mean, this guy, he knows. Jack, I'm perfectly capable of asking your brother out all on my own. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. How would you like to come meet Pearl and gaze at the moon with us tonight? Yeah, I'd, I'd love that. Groovy. Boom. Good. It's my dress. Oh, yeah, bye. Thank you. I'll see you. Who's Pearl? Who cares? Yeah, who does care? I bet Sally has a boyfriend and he's just he's looking over him up with Pearl. Oh, with his present! <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to unwrap it. What? No. Oh, come on, don't. Oh. Uh. Oh, As you're not gonna be able to take it with them. Unwrapped. Uh. Like Why? no more than 3.4 ounces of liquid. If you give us an address, we can mail them. I can't go there empty-handed. Look, what if I just dump the liquid? Uh, okay. Yeah. No, no, just look. I'm gonna do that. It'll take two seconds. Sir, what okay? are you doing? Oh God! Oh. Oh, no! no. Niggy! No! He put so much time into it. I mean, he did make a meal of that, to be fair, Nicky. All you had to do was just unscrew and pour, but you just... Yeah. Sally? Oh, you found us! Oh, yeah. oh, sorry if I freaked you out with the honking. It's just Pearl's <laughs> got to make her presence known. Oh, oh Pearl's your Pearl. fan? Mm -hmm. Oh. Do you want to get inside her? Come on! What? what? <laughs> come on, come on, come on! <laughs> Like her is running home, uh, man. lost. It's like I can see how you see the world. He's doing adorable. What happened to Sally? Well, I mean, we got shipped off to Vietnam, so that'll probably stop that in its tracks. Or no, in this show, she died or something. And no matter where you are in the world, we're all looking up at that same moon. I really want to kiss you now. Do it. <laughs> Do it, my boy. Nicky got there eventually. Okay, we're just having sex at work. <laughs> I think I'm falling in love with you. Oh, alright. I mean, it's been obviously a bit of time. You think I am? You know, honestly, I have no idea how it happened, but I know it's all thanks to you. Come on. <laughs> uh, it is. Dude, type for me from there. You two must be up to no good. <laughs> Can I take a picture of the famous Pittsburgh Pearson brothers? Yeah, famous. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. Look at that camera. Remember the taste of your mom's Salisbury steak? And you'll be taken back to this exact moment. <laughs> oh, the picture's gonna. Has he got the picture still? Oh. They never saw each other again, we know this, so we know he doesn't go and see him. But he's gonna see him from afar though and walk out. And he would like just go and talk to him. <laughs> he dare so gonna do that. He's gonna look through the window or something and see him and you just like wanna push him. <laughs> you can't. I uh, noticed that you don't like, have headphones. <laughs> Remember when people used to talk on planes? Uh, no. <laughs> Anytime we get bored, we could just pack up Pearl and hit the road. So you, you wanna drive to California and move there for for good. What what's keeping you here, Nikki? Okay, I'll meet you here at eleven right after my parents go no. to sleep. The the life he could have had, that's all this is. And it's just gonna break your heart. So get ready, buckle up. Go take a walk. <laughs> you inside? Yeah. There it is. He's not gonna do it. None of these guys their bodies are here, but their minds are still over there. Yeah, Nick is going to be in that state. The trick is to not let yourself time. get lost in it. Not to relive the same horror show over and over. Take every memory you have, photos, whatever, walk it away. Visit it when you have one too many. But keep it separate from the life you're building. No, bad advice. Go for posting that girl person. Look at what he's saying. It's like the past is a horror show for them, and you got your future focus on that, I get it. But, I mean, we see that it comes back up anyway, and they find out, so. Let's get out. Oh, 
<laughs> I don't I don't know much about suitcases, but I, I feel like this thing's gonna last forever. Uh -huh. Yep, still has that. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. I'm telling you, a girl like that, she asks me to go to California. I'm gone in a heartbeat. Yeah, boy. It's interesting seeing like the what could have been for Nikki. So many turns that's just. I mean, they do that a lot with these characters, obviously, but... Now, I'm the old man, sitting here with my son. He's gonna not go because of his Watching dad. three Americans fly home from the moon. Well, maybe. Maybe from the moon. Maybe from a set, but... <laughs> Hun, come Thanks, sit. Mom. Look how many people are at this parade. He's not gonna want to ruin that night or something. <laughs> Oh, he's not going to go because of his mom. Nikki. No. <laughs> and he's going to do the same thing with Jack now as well. Just not sure. That's so depressing. <laughs> Here we go. This is where he gets back in his van and drives off as well. You could just go up to him now. Go talk to him. <laughs> no, I it's gone. Oh, dude. There's nothing. <sighs> so close. I knew, I knew we knew that he wasn't going to do that. Well, that's happened since I saw you in the flesh. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Some things yeah, here. Yeah, a lot has happened. And I, I can't wait for you to meet Nick and Franny. Yeah. I mean, oh, they're perfect. Oh, he's got his smartphone out, my boy. <laughs> Calling Cassidy. It's 4 a.m. here, old man. Oh, you suck at sleeping just like I do. Oh, my knees be up. <laughs> I do like that she's kind of his um, safe person. I'm thinking that this whole thing was a mistake. You know, I thought that the plane ride would be the hard part. But now I'm thinking I might just sneak out of here while everybody's asleep. And no, just, if you do that. You know, I'll call Kevin once I land. Are you, know, you certifiably insane? You've hated yourself for so long and now you have all this love coming at you. And it feels weird and you want to go AWOL. And then what? Go back to your trailer alone and stare at the same plot of land until you die? Mm. Hey there, babies. Don't worry, I won't get too close. If I have been vaccinated twice. Good that they know that now. Um, I, I, I made these really special gifts for you, but um. This, oh, it breaks my heart. This courage does. <laughs> rules sometimes, so I, I got you. I got you these instead. Uh, my favorite John Grisham novels. <laughs> uh, so firm. Yep, I love and, that. Uh, Rainmaker. Mm. <laughs> He's such a tragic card, it's so sad. Not so all the way. Fifty years. I lived in a trailer. A trailer that went nowhere. Whatever the opposite is of an astronaut. That that's <laughs> That's what I became. And then I got that invitation in the mail Dude. for a Zoom. <laughs> Apparently, whatever the hell that is. I know. What if that is? My big brother's grandchildren. For fuck's sake. <laughs> but here I am. I made it. You are my moon. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, this show. <laughs> Don't give up until you keep on the suit. That was a photo in there, isn't it? The death of the Oh, 
<sighs> the fact you can have a show five seasons in that's still breaking your heart. <laughs> so, oh god, this has to have a high rate. Yeah, seventy nine percent is still kind of low actually, but oof. Nikki, Nikki, what a character. When did he come into this? Season three? Yeah, he's got to be like the best character that hasn't been in it from the start. Every other character I feel like has been in it from the start, not Nikki. So he's the best character. That's... I don't think he's like the best character in the show, but he's close. He's so good. I'm so glad we kind of got him involved in this season because he just kind of has been missing. For a little while, which is fine because he, like I said, took up a huge portion of Kevin's story in season four, so I wasn't too fussed about it. But it's good to kind of get an episode dedicated to him, and I hope he sticks around for the rest of the season because what we got five episodes left. You think he should stick stick around for a little while? That'd be good. Uh, but yeah, great episode. Probably my favorite of the entire season, actually. Maybe let me check. Um, episode six, seven, and eight were already good. And then this one. I don't know, it's close. Six, seven, and eight, or this one, I could argue, is the best is best episode. So yeah. I think this is the only time it's got me tearing up this season. Almost did a few times previously, but this one I was like, oh you just feel so bad for him. Like I said in the reaction, he's just kind of like this tragic character that had so many opportunities to just take a different route in life and didn't. Like Sally, he's just like he could have just left with her, lived a happy life that end and just didn't, and then when he uh, met up with all the veterans uh, veterans, and just left instead of, it's like so close like all you have to just say is Jack, just shout his name and just run to him and you know if he could go back to that moment to both of those moments he would do it differently, so when he's staying there at the end like when you're an old man you just kind of sat on the plane thinking of all your mistakes or wives um, which inevitably everyone's probably going to go through, you know he showed those two because they're like his two what if moments, like what if he did just leave with Sally and what if he did just kind of go up to Jack? I'm sure his biggest regret is uh, killing that kid um, or being a part of why that kid ended up dying. So he probably would change that as well. But again, we've, we've seen that obviously already. So, But uh, yeah, um, very, very good episode. I'll go in 8.6 out of 10 for this one. Not quite a 9 out of 10, but it's gr a great, great episode. And I think arguably the best uh, of the season so far so thanks for watching guys leave a like if you enjoyed um, i'm gonna cry myself to sleep now so i'll see you next time for episode 12 until then take care peace